Hi, this is Wayne Tully. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a tree painting. Uh, but I'm going to make it more of a fantasy tree painting. Uh, I've got some acrylic paint, I've got some black, I've got some burnt umber, and I've got some yellow ochre and sap green. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some water. I can just reach over there. I'm just going to pour a little bit of water just in the centre there so I can just uh, you know, rinse the brush bit of uh, foil from the coffee jar just added effect there <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer a sort of background glaze um, so where the the tree can fit. Actually, we'll get some. Oh, I need quite a bit of water there. I'm going to spread this out. Spreading it all out. You'll notice I'm just uh, just concentrating on the centre. You know, trying to order the you know paint. Got a few hairs on the paper. Never mind. New brush. And just try and thin the paint out slightly as it goes to the bottom and then I want to try and maybe get some yellow ochre uh, just watered in there just to try and spread it out a bit more and just thin it blend it together and do some just thicker Yellow ochre paint there. So as you can see, we've got the um, colours there. Let's wash the brush now. I want to maybe get some black. I'm still working in, you know, the sort of wet paint. We just want to create a large tree shape there. Just uh, added all the black because it creates a nice silhouette, a nice shape as well. So we can we can definitely add to these branches. So we definitely want this to be thicker. Maybe the roots just go into the ground. Like that. We can certainly add to them with uh, you know, some other colours as we go along. And, you know, you could maybe get the branches so they're not real thin. Even there. What we do is we just wash the brush slightly. What we can do is you can just squeeze all that into there so it's 
almost dry but it's still wet and we're going to go for this uh, burnt umber colour and just really start to add it to one side maybe add some more as you're going along I just like to layer in some of this paint first um, then we'll definitely have to wait till it dries I'm not really bothered about this because this is just a piece of cartridge paper uh, it's just buckling it's just an idea of you know how you layer the paint and you know just have fun with it really Get a bit more brown in there. I don't want to layer some this. I want all the roots to be like a mishmash of different roots and other stuff going on underneath. maybe let that dry for now and we'll come back to it so this isn't quite dry yet so we'll just focus on the the branches I just want to layer in some um, using a different a smaller brush not like a flat edged brush uh, more like a pointy brush so we can you know get the acrylics and really do some fine you know branch work Just really build on these branches. Get some more paint when you need it. Just add extra bits where where you want to really. really try and fill out these branches because when all this dries I want to do like an almost ghostly face on the tree um, but then we'll just concentrate on these all these branches just to try and you know, make it look more tree like so originally all the the black areas that you've added into the wet and um, it's just created sort of a guide so you can you know just experiment with it Is there and you know other bits and bobs I'm gonna try and be quite random about it you don't know? really want to be too precise with you know well you can be if you want but it's you know it's entirely up to you
you'll find that when you know you start painting uh, everyone's styles you know are different to the way you paint there's no really right or wrong way to you know of laying down the paint it's just uh, laying it down and seeing if it looks right that's the way I do it Once this dries, you'll be able to lay some brown over it, but it ain't quite dried down there, so I'll just uh, carry on with some of the branches. And you can add some highlights if you want to or maybe mix it with a bit of the brown just to make a more lighter um, sort of highlight just test it and try and mix it in there let's try and create the, the marks of the the back as you go along. Get some more. within a swamp or something uh, that was the idea you know like uh, some kind of mist or something in the background and like swampy earthy colours so it's more fantasy fantasy tree some of this area is still slightly wet so you can just Try and layer in some you know highlights but if it doesn't work out then you can just paint over it. It's the old thing about painting with acrylics. It all creates layers and things you can just happily change and paint over. Right, I said I wanted to maybe paint um, some kind of face in the, you know, I'll probably use the yellow just to create some highlights. So I always like them kind of trees, you know, where you, you almost see the knots in it, in, you know, the the back of the tree and um, you know you can always make it almost make out a face or something and this yellow just acts as a sort of guide you know um, we make it quite a wide looking mouth it probably goes all the way down there 
add some more just to you know so you know where you're going with it just try and use the paint just to sort of give you ideas as well already I know that that's given me quite a lot of ideas so I'm using the black to mark out in you know the eyes and we'll probably use some whites as we go along deep dark black colour for the, the gaping mouth of this tree already you can see some kind of you know face in there and we can elaborate on that as we go along you know with this drawing or painting rather we we'll sort of drawing with paint brushes anyway so you know um, it's all good I need to try and do some choppy looking pen strokes. And don't worry if you add, you add too much shading, it doesn't matter, you can always, you know, change things as you go along. Let's add a little brown in there and some more. I found that painting is a can be a slow process, but it's fascinating how all these colours come together. You know, to really create a painting. got that you know face area um, that's the, the focal point of the tree that I want to you know try and capture this fantasy tree really want to start making a lot of these top areas um, more lighter particularly on the the sides here because on this side it's going to be more darker so we can maybe turn them black and a lot of these are going to be lighter so we'll leave them areas like that Touching upon the sides of here just to give it some sort of elements of form. I can always come back and you know paint over it or do something like that. What I like about trees is the, you know, the tree bark. Uh, you can really experiment with it, and you know, 
I mean, I love look, yeah, looking at tree bark and you know all the detail on it as well. You know, you can really pick that out um, as long as you get the the shadows right. Um, you know, things like that. And just, just have fun. Build up your painting in layers. This bit I'll just um, redry, drain the brush, and then maybe add some more yellow, put a thin layer of yellow if I can. Just gotta try and imagine where the highlights would be. And again, if you, you make a mistake, it's doesn't matter. You can always pin it out. I'll smooth that out a bit. can make this you know into teeth if you wanted to just draw suggestions for now face coming up there and you can smooth a bit of that off and you know because we want the light to be coming from this side and more of the darkness on this side I'll just add some sap green but I want I want it to be lighter and more watery so I've mixed in a bit of yellow ochre with that Again, I want this to be so sort of like it's more spread out, so you can spread these bits out. So I want this to be quite misty. You know, and it it can even be misty, you know, to match with the green or. It can be grass, forms of grass, you know, like on a little hill or something. Entirely up to you. Just try and spread it out as best you can. Try and smooth bits off here. If you wanted to maybe carry on this, just move that slightly up there, and you can, you know, so it fits all the way down. But I'd like it to be more solid colour as it goes down like that, like a solid yellow. Side. 
Yeah, just leave it as that for now. You'll find a lot of this uh, will have to dry first before you can start to tackle it even further. Uh, but a lot of these branches uh, could do with a maybe a finer brush, um, which will do uh, fairly soon. Um, so I wanted these to be more lighter slightly. Possibly there's some kind of sun coming up on these, that's why you know these will look lighter. More on that side. So that's it for now, we'll wait until this dries and we'll come back to it and just try and add a bit more sort of like detail on this side, more of the back, you know, highlights and a bit more of the shadows and details on the branches. So I've got a thinner uh, paintbrush and um, this is to do more finer detail on the branches and possibly just to balance the tree out a bit more maybe do some more branches down there just to match that side so I'll just wet it slightly because it's a new brush so I'll just press that down there and just start to get some black on there because as I said I wanted this side to be more darker so, remove this over here. Oops, spilled a bit of the water in there, never mind. At least a bit of black can show through. Thin these out slightly if you can.
So when I like finished adding in the you know the darker black branches. See without the the shine on that I'll just go to there. We can see the mouth, you know, it looks really good. Um and we can add to add to that if you know you wanted to or you know you can maybe add some stuff in the background. Yeah, but for now this is as far as I wanna go. I'd like to move on to the next idea. So there we go.